Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 49 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, knowing me, I had to go look for Death Gaze again, and I'm going with this party because, well, obviously nobody else was suitable at the time, due to being level 30. I also picked up a couple more Holy Rods that should really come in handy. Knowing me, I didn't sort so it all the way back there. That's right, Cyan doesn't have Hastiga. Uh, let's see, the least you can do is do a nice bit of damage, everyone. Not gonna worry about Hastiga. Just get ready to attack. Give it everything we got. We almost got him beat, after all. Uh, use one last Holy Rod Setzer. This might be enough to finish him off once and for all. Ah, death. Oh, good, it missed. Please let this be the last move we need to use on him. Why don't you use a jump, Mog? Make good use of your Dragoon skills. Got him! Oh, it took three appearances, but he's finally done! Now I can fly around with impunity and not have to worry about a level 5 death nuking off half my party. There. Death Gaze is gone for good. Took him out quite early, too. And, for a little bit of spoils, a piece of magicite fell from Death Gaze's maw. That's mouth, if you're wondering. Ah, now we got the Bahamut magicite. What makes this thing very kick-ass is not only does it teach you Flare, but increases your HP by 50% as you level up. We got like two Espers that increases it by an extra 10%. Now we got 50. Talk about convenient. Alright, let's see. Okay, Setzer didn't really have an Esper on, which was good. So I don't plan on using him anyway. Yes, they would all grieve. <laughs> okay, Cyan. Let's see. Sabin should come back in. And Mog. I think that's going to be quite a dream team. And I removed all of Sabin's equipment just to make sure everybody got what they wanted. Uh, Dragon Claws. Why don't we give the Ice Shield to you this time? Royal Crown, and a Gaia Gear for extra magic defense. Not gonna put the Genji Glove on you, you don't need it. A Hero's Ring would be a good choice. I don't think I have any earrings, do I? Unfortunately, no. Oh, yes, yes I do, they're right here. There, that should boost your Phantom Rush even more. Okay, before I go to Nursh, why don't we make that Dream Team even more dreamier teamer? What I mean is, why don't we go to the Cultist Tower? I mean, we don't have to fight any enemies, which is good, because you can only use magic in this tower. Just that I warn you. Since we don't have really good magicians, or a good level in general, why don't we make use of that Malulu's charm? Get it equipped right now. Now let's go in it. What the? Strago? Huh. I'm guessing a feeling that since Realm could be dead in his mind, that he's nothing left to live for and is now a mindless zombie. No use talking to them. They've given their souls over to Kefka. All they do now is shuffle about, praying to him day in and day out. For 100,000 gil, I'll tell you where you can find some hidden treasure. I don't have that much. This tower is home to the cult of Kefka. There's supposed to be a priceless treasure up on the highest level. But you can only use magic inside, so you'll never make it to the top without strong magic. Yeah, and that is true, because on the bottom floor has enemies that don't use very powerful magic. As you go up, it gets tougher. Treasure! Treasure! 
If I remember correctly, there was somebody in town in Miranda, I believe. It said something about treasure next to the right of a chest. Needless to say, he wasn't a magician, so I don't think he'd gotten very far. You get a safety bit. Safety bit will protect you from instant death attacks. Basically, to the right of the chest, there's this little hidden panel. Um, where is it to again? Uh, or was it over to another room? I think it was over to another room. Not necessarily this one. Wait a minute! This door just opened. Oh, we get an air anchor! This is a neat little tool for Edgar because now he practically has a tool that if you hit an enemy with it, on the next turn, they die. I'm gonna take off the Mithril on uh, the Malulu's charm here in this room only. Because there is an encounter that can help you out. Especially if you get it as a rage. It's called the Magic Urn. Now as far as I know, it's very difficult to kill these things if you can kill them at all. But that's not why I'm here. I only did this just to run into them, and they actually heal you. Yes, they can heal you. And they'll show up in the bestiary anyway, and you get 5 AP regardless. In other words, you can just hang around here, learn spells, not have to worry about being overleveled, and there you go. This is pretty much the perfect spot. I mean, granted, it's not the best spot, but it is the best spot if you don't have to worry about getting your ass kicked, or being able to do the ass kicking yourself. You can just hang around here for a bit. Okay, there's more treasure I can get, and I'm gonna do that right now. There's also an optional boss here, too, that I'd rather ignore for now. But I'll come back to it later. But first, why don't we go in this room? Oh, we get a Genji shield. Nice. I don't want to go to the top, because if you do get the treasure on the top, you'll have to face a boss. One that's very, very powerful. I mean, there is an easier way to take it out now. You can actually do that. But it takes hours and hours and hours. Definitely not worth your time. Oh, a Kaginui. That's a neat little weapon for Shadow. If we manage to get him. Basically, it has a chance of inflicting stop. If it connects the right way, like a 25% chance. But don't worry, Shadow's around somewhere. Ah, we get a second force armor! Ah, nice. Okay, let's teleport out of here. This is pretty much all the treasure we can get for now. Apparently we cannot teleport. Can I teleport from inside? No, I cannot. Therefore, I actually have to go through. Granted, I can get some more treasure in the final dungeon. But you know what, why don't we save that for another time? I'm already quite powerful. I mean, I got the Bahamut Magicite, I picked up some more Force Armor, got a safety bit. What else do I need at this point? I mean, if we go to Kefka's Tower, it'll be like on a little detour. Like I said, we'll save it for another time, but right now we need to head to Narsh. Man, who designed this tower? Couldn't they just put an elevator or something? Or even an escalator, that would have been so great. Like, how far does this tower even go? How many floors? I'm pretty sure somebody counted when they were like really bored and had nothing to do. Oh, times like this, Mog, you're gonna be quite a staple in my party for quite a while. Especially if I run into all the enemies already and don't want to fight them anymore. Then I could just breeze through the dungeon. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna keep it on you. I've already fought all the enemies in Narsh. There's no reason to fight them anymore. Wait, are you well healed? Yeah, everybody's just fine. 
You can't even go in these rooms, apparently, because this is why. Eh? Have we met someplace before? Eh, whatever. Nothing left in this town anyway, except for that one lousy Moogle. Uh, uh, he's right here. Doors are all locked, and you had to be some kind of treasure hunter to get them open. Treasure hunter, eh? Well, I guess Block will have to take care of that. Ah, uh, yes, why don't we put Bahamut on you for now? Who's close to leveling up? Ah, uh, looks like Terra is. And she got Zona Seeker on. Cyan should have, I'll say, Bismarck on. But we'll deal with that later. Then again, if I have no encounters to worry about, what's the point? I mean, I can do it in my own spare time, I guess. Rather than have you watch me level up. I'll probably take it off when we get to the next part. So, I mean, there is an extra dungeon inside the dungeon. Let's deal with this part first. Seems how we've already been here before in the world of balance. There's really no need to be having fights all the time at this point. All right, there we go. We almost made it to the snowy part. Okay, at this point, there's another boss. This is the ice dragon. I want to make sure I'm well equipped. Okay, he just shield, ice shield, thunder shield. Okay, this seems like a very, very good setup. I hope I can get to that save point without having to fight him. Ah, there we go. If I had more ice shields, it'd be more convenient, and you can get them through the Colosseum. But obviously, I don't have that yet. I'll do that later on. But first, why don't we throw down? How's that sound? Okay, the Ice Dragon is actually quite easy. In fact, I got a preemptive strike. Cast Stop on it. And I bet you it will work. Okay, maybe it did not work. How about slow? I'll try slow instead. It's pretty weak and pretty pathetic. Trust me on this one. Good thing Cyan has a black belt on. That should help for counters. Eh, just in case people are feeling weak, Zona Seeker anyway. Here's a jump attack mug. You don't have to worry about ice attacks that much because while well, Terra got the Minerva Bustier, Cyan got an Aegis Shield to possibly avoid the magic attack altogether. Saban has a Thunder Shield, no, he's not. Saban has the Ice Shield so he can absorb the Ice Attacks. And Mog has the Thunder Shield to have Ice Attacks. Pretty cool, huh? This is almost an ideal setup. In fact, I could have used that Force Armor on Mog too. But I didn't. And Cyan still managed to die. But that's okay. Should be just fine regardless. It was the counters that got him. Besides, I haven't really been using him much, so it's gonna be a while to get used to him again. Uh, Mog, why don't you test this Bahamut out, will you? It's not elemental, by the way, so it's not gonna be doing extra damage, other than its attack power as is. Still over 3,000 damage. That is quite strong. So now we got two dragons defeated. Talk about progress. We're making a lot of it. Mastered a new dance, and we got the force shield. And only six dragons remain. Okay, what is this force shield? Let me take a look. Ah, there it is. Shield that defends only against magic. Okay, so it will have water, earth, wind, lightning, fire, and ice. Okay, and it can be equipped by everyone. 
Hmm, does it really defend against physical attacks, though? Let me take a look. Okay, so apparently its physical defense is awful. But I mean, if you're worrying about magic enemies, then well, this is the shield for you. Okay, I think that's good enough. And Mog learned his final dance, too. You can only learn it at this spot. Alright, so I'll use a tent and get saved. And then we'll have to take on yet another boss! Yes, another boss. Hey, they just keep on coming, don't they? And they just want more and more and more. Alright, let's go. Yeah, there's the Esper. How you doing? It's been a while. Yes, the Esper Valigarmanda wants to fight you now. And yes, you are going to fight. And sadly, it knows Blizzaga. Yeah, a lot of damage is going to be done if you're not careful. Or have the right equipment. But if you do, then well, what's the worry? The only magic you can use that can damage him is fire. Keep that in mind. Anything else will not be doing much at all. Yeah, so Sally, you're pretty much stuck. Unless you have a lot of mages. Cyan's not going to be doing much, though. His fire will do little damage. Uh, why don't you take a break from uh, blitzing and use a hastiga? Yeah, as long as you got everyone with Fyra, you'll do just fine. Really, you have nothing to worry about. Besides, Mog has decent magic stats. Now I'll have Terra use a Fyra. This should do even more damage. Sally Valgarmanda also has Rasp. So that'll take a good chunk out of your MP. But that's okay, if you got Osmos, you have nothing to worry about either. Just drain it back. The only magic it does know is ice moves, so if you got protection from ice, well obviously you're gonna win. Oh ho ho ho! Damn! And freezing dust too. Great, now Terra is frozen. So just use a simple fire spell and she'll be thawed. Got him! Wow, we're kicking some ass here! So in this video, I managed to pick up two espers, slain the ice dragon, Picked up another force armor. Things are really looking up. And we only get 7 AP out of that. So, humans broke my seal of ice. Humans who possess magicite. Just who are you? I suppose that's of little consequence. But what of this devastation that fills the air? Could the War of the Magi have lasted a thousand years? That foolish, unending war. Hmm... You would seek to put an end to it? Then I shall put my trust in you. Alright! Now we got more Magicite! Now I... Now not only is Valak Armanda so effective... Wait a minute, there's a hole. Something tells us we need to drop down. Valagarmanda not only gives you two in magic, so if you're leveling up your magic, you don't have to swap out Zona Seeker all the time. It also teaches you the level 3 elemental magic. His own Esper attack, Tri Disaster, hits enemies with fire, magic, I mean fire, ice, and lightning. Just remember, if it can absorb one, it'll absorb the whole spell. But if it's weak against it, then well, you're doing a lot of damage. Just pay attention to what it can absorb, otherwise you'll be doing pitiful damage against it, or none at all. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here, and then next part we're gonna drop down this hole and see what's beneath. See ya.